So here is how we can edit PDFs on your MacBook or any kind of Mac computer. So at first you need to locate the PDF file on your Mac in your finder. So just locate it somewhere in your folders and then select it. Well, there are more options and more things you can do in order to edit them. But once you have the file located, I want you to just at first start with a preview. So tap on the space bar to make the a file show up in a preview and at the top you will have an edit button. It is right next to the share button. It looks like a pencil in a circle and essentially when you just open it up or click on it, it gives you more options to just edit that PDF. This is really cool because it is built in. It is part of the F finder by default and it gives you very quick options to scribble to add text to selected to add, you know, to rotate a PDF, to change the thickness, to sign it, you know, so many different things you can do in here. And you can even like add shapes and some different things. You can crop the PDF. And once you're done, you can just save it and the PDF will be updated, right? So it is a very quick way. Obviously, it's not the most advanced, but you can do it right away without installing any software or having any kind of expertise about PDF files. On the other hand, if you want to go a little bit deeper, what you can do is to right click on that PDF file in your finder and scroll to the open with button. This will give you all of the possible options of the software you can use to open up that PDF file. And if you have the Photoshop, for example, installed, or if you have Adobe Acrobat, these are apps specifically designed to edit your photos, PDFs, and documents. And you can use any of those apps to import that PDF file to and perform some more advanced changes and edits to it. So in Photoshop, as you know, there are so many things you can do with it or even in Adobe Acrobat. But as you can probably tell, the point is to get an app which can perform some edits, right? So you need to download a PDF editor from the internet and then you'll be able to use it to open up that PDF file and perform some edits. But for a lot of people, the first method is going to be more than enough. So let me know below in the comments what you think about it. If you would like to see some more advanced editing tutorials of PDFs, if you do, then subscribe and I'll see you in the future videos.